What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my terrible, terrific, horrendous, cheesy channel. Okay, I, I'm, I'm out of words, okay? I'm, that's everything you guys have listed, okay? Is that everything? Plus hobo. Plus hobo, guys. Welcome back to my hobo channel. Before you guys say anything, calm thyself, okay? These are not couple shirts, couple matching outfits or anything, okay? What, what these are is very beautifully decorated merchandise that we <gasps> finally got up and running. Now you're probably thinking, oh wait, Terry, you only have black? Like, come on, like what about the other colors, you know? Well guys, again, calm thyself, okay? <laughs> if you go onto the website, onto the <laughs> online store, link is in the description, not only do we have black, but we also have an assortment of other colors mm -hmm. as well. So we also have shirts, hoodies, and phone cases. And aside from that, we also have calm thyself coffee mugs, okay? Oh! How cool is that? Guys, this is just the start of like the merchandise launch, okay? So right now, we only have Calm Thyself, okay? But we will have like other slogans and other, you know, like channel phrases, you know, things that you guys have uh, turned into a cult fiction by now. So yeah, that stuff is coming. Calm thyself. No. Anyways, let's get on to the main point of this video, okay? A lot of you guys seem to always ask in the comments and everybody wants to know and everyone and their mother wants to know how we first met. Now it's not really like a spectacular or like super entertaining or even super long story, right? I mean it's it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Do you want to start it out? So we met through our mutual friend. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, and I think, uh, how did I meet Kevin? I met Kevin by going to a language exchange. It was like a weekly Saturday language exchange meetup where you could go there and meet foreigners as well as Koreans that wanted to practice their English in Korean. And that's how I met Kevin there. He was going there, you know, just to make friends with other foreigners as well as Koreans because he was raised in Singapore. Uh, so he's like kind of more westernized. He's kind of like a foreigner himself, even though, even though his parents are Korean born. But uh, so that's how I met Kevin. But yeah, so he said he had a friend that he wanted to introduce me to that could help me practice my Korean skills a little bit and that person was none other than Boyan. <laughs> so when we met the first time we went to a bar together remember he wanted to introduce me to Boyan before he went off to college and he was going to college in Canada and he wanted to introduce me to her before he left so this was literally on his last night in Korea what yeah right yeah yeah on his last <laughs> night why are you making that face I thought I got the story wrong on his last <laughs> night in Korea he was having like a little going away party with like a couple of his friends and I was there with him <laughs> and then he uh, was texting Boyang saying like, hey, come, come hang out with us. And you know, it was like late. She got there super late. She took a taxi. She kept saying, ah, I don't want to go. You no. Know, like, like, ah, it's kind of late. Like, no, are you sure I should go? Fucking liar. Isn't that what you were saying? You were, no, you were no, hesitating. No, because my, my, my sister lost her phone on the subway. Uh -huh. My sister and I were going to the going away party together, but then she left her phone on the bench. Oh the yeah, subway. she lost so, her phone. Yeah, so we were like freaking out. Oh, that's why you guys, that's why you were so late. She didn't even end up going. Boyung was so late coming to Kevin's party that it was literally just me, Kevin, and her. Yeah. Whenever she arrived, yeah. <laughs> everyone else left. So kind of because of that, it actually worked out better because uh, Boyung and I were able to uh, get to know each other a little bit easier without like, you know, like all these people, you know, hanging out and crowding around us at the same time. So Kevin took us to like a bar and dude, Kevin, if you're watching this, dude, you're a freaking legend, okay? Thanks so much, dude. He paid for the bar, he paid for the, the pool games that we played in the in the pool table arcade. I remember the pool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, I know. He holds the, the stick really funny. I know. It's very, very hilarious. So yeah, that was our first time we met each other. We played billiards with our friend Kevin, who was our mutual friend. We also uh, went out to the bar afterward and got a couple of drinks. And that's when I found out that Bo Young actually like can't even drink like a sip of alcohol. She like spits it out. She hates it. Yeah, I hate it, but I can drink. Okay, well, what I remember was you took one sip of this really delicious like sparkling no, drink. No, it wasn't sparkling. Okay, well, it was like a weird cocktail. Okay, you know what? Maybe her memory is better With than mine. With salt. Whatever. Okay. On the edge of you the hated ice. it, and that was a good drink. Okay, I tried some of it, and I don't know why she didn't like it, but whatever. So yeah, that was the first night that we actually met each other, and after that, our friend Kevin. No, 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 no. What? You forgot the story. What story? About you being mean to me. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. On that night when we were getting to know each other. 
um, I asked Bo Yang, I was like, so, you know, what are you doing these days? Are you a worker, or a student, and... No, you ask me. So why are you content to have that crack? You graduate. Uh, oh, I don't she, know. She's uh, still upset about yeah, this. Yeah, what did you say? Well, I asked her what she's going to do after she graduates because she was in her senior year of university. And I was like, what are you going to do when you graduate? And she was like, I don't know. I, know. I, know. I was like, what I do you know. mean you don't know? know? You're about to graduate. No, no I, said, I don't know. I didn't say, I don't know. You said like, I don't know. No. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you said no, just I like didn't. that. No, no, no. I said, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Calm thyself. All I gotta Stop say. Stop rubbing your boobs. I'm not rubbing. I'm just. Okay, you know what? Seriously, calm thyself. How's that? Is that better? And I asked her like, "What are you doing after college? You know, like, what are you gonna do?" And she was like, "Oh, I don't know." And I was like, "What do you mean you don't know? Like, you're about to graduate, dude. You know, typical Terry." And she went off on me. She was like screaming at me. She what? Was, like, she got so mad at me. She no. slapped me. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, I didn't. She was experiencing internalized That's depression. That's like. Throw away my cocktail. What? Oh yeah, she, she, what? Okay, now we're just making stuff up. Let's stick to the truth. So yeah, that was the first night we met. And literally the next day, our friend, our mutual friend Kevin uh, went to off to university, you know, cause his summer break was over. And you know, like we had each other's uh, contact information and we started, you know, meeting up like a couple times a week to practice our English and Korean skills with each other. And mm -hmm. it was at that time that I just started making my Korean reaction videos, right? And yeah, actually it was shortly, literally shortly after we met that since I was making these Korean reaction videos where I was interviewing Korean people about American pop and American culture, you know, I needed someone to make English subtitles for what the Korean people were saying. So I hit up Bo Young and I was like, hey, listen, we've been practicing our English and Korean together, but would you be interested in helping me with like a project I'm working on, like making subtitles for these uh, videos that I'm working on? And she was like, yeah, sounds interesting. I'll help you out. So yeah, she started helping me make subtitles. And for those of you guys that don't know already, okay, making subtitles for videos is like super freaking hard work and it's exhausting and it takes like so long, but she was able to do them like a lot faster than uh, actually Kevin helped me make the subtitles for my first video and dude it took us like eight hours in a cafe we worked on making those subtitles for my first video and then she did it for my second video and every video after and it only took you how long a lot less right just a few hours she wasn't doing these translations like literally every day okay because i was only making videos like once a week sometimes like every other week depending on like what kind of videos i would make i would need her help with the translation sometimes it was like an american reactions video it wasn't always korean people so it's not like i was you know slave labor over here look i, I was, was a slave i was a teacher and you know like i didn't have enough time to make videos like crazy like like i do now but yeah we pretty much just went on and off with the subtitles like that for the whole year and maybe like a few months later is when you started getting into Photoshop, right? Mm -hmm. Why did you start making Photoshop stuff for my channel? Why? I looked at Terry's thumbnails. He was like... Here we go. <laughs> what? Okay, they weren't that bad, my, my earlier thumbnails, okay? I dabbled in Photoshop. I knew the basics of it, but yeah, okay. My thumbnails, they, they weren't the best. And she took a look and she was like, dude, your thumbnails suck. And I was like, okay, fine. Like... Calm thyself, okay? You, you think you can make better better thumbnails? Okay, go ahead. So next thing I know, Bo Young buys a Photoshop book and literally like reads a couple chapters of it and she um, starts using Photoshop, you know, like on my computer and starts making thumbnails for all of my videos and they're like a heck of a lot better than the ones I was making. So, you I know, made an art. Instead of just making translations, Bo Young and I were working together and she was also making uh, cover art and thumbnails for my YouTube videos and for my channel and you know like I was starting to make like different kinds of videos and also get into like a little bit of vlogging stuff so yeah that's when we started to really I think get a little bit closer because we were seeing each other pretty often to make these videos and doing all these projects and oh sorry I didn't know I'm so boring jeez <laughs> But yeah, it pretty much went on like this for like about a year. And after about a year's time, I was just about finishing my teaching contract and she had just graduated. I ended up pursuing YouTube and you know, I told myself, but I don't wanna stay in this city, which is Busan, which is the second biggest city. But I always thought there would be more opportunity for me if I lived in like a bigger metropolitan area like Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. And so I was, hesitant but i called up Bo Young and i had to like explain to her like i'm moving to seoul like i don't know if we can still work together Are you crying <laughs> yo i wasn't crying oh crying baby 
But luckily, you know, she was literally just graduated from her university and she was saying, oh, hey, I want to move to Seoul too, you know? Like, I want to actually work there after school. So, yeah, I'm going to be moving there too. And I was like, I was like, really? Well, then, uh, okay, then I'm going to be making these videos together and, and working on them together and um, doing translations and stuff. She's like, yeah, I can still help you. I'm like, thank the lot, you know? Ooh, we good. Calm thyself, Terry. We Gucci. So that was a big, I think, release off of both our shoulders, you know, because we liked working together and it was fun. She graduated, she moved to Seoul, um, I finished my teaching contract and I didn't move to Seoul directly, I actually went back home to the United States and visited my family for a couple of weeks and then I moved back to Korea and I got my own apartment there in Seoul as well and so now that we both live in Seoul, we, you know, still work together. We were still able to make the videos together. And it was around that time, a little bit after we both moved to Seoul, that you started your own channel, right? Mm -hmm. Once you told me you wanted to start YouTube, I said, okay, yeah, you can gladly use my equipment and you can use my studio to get started. And before I knew it, you know, like I taught her the basics of editing and how to operate, you know, a camera um, and stuff like that. And basically the basics of making a YouTube video. And then she just, you know, took the rest in her own hands. You know, she started learning more about editing and making her own videos. And before I even knew it, dude, she was making some pretty funny ass videos. That's basically the story of how we met. And she still does, you know, use my equipment to film. I mean, she has some of her own equipment now, but she still doesn't have like space in her own apartment to really have like a studio set up like this. So she still does use my equipment um, for a lot of things, you know, which is fine because even though I'm not making the Korean reaction videos anymore and I don't need her to make translations for me, she still does do like a lot of cover art and thumbnails for me. And she still helps me out with a lot of other stuff, you know, regarding the channel, as well as just, you know, like living in Korea. If I ever have a question about something, I can just ask her, she's a freaking native Korean and she can help me out. So yeah, you're kind of like my secretary. Huh? Yeah, Kim Bisa. What is Korean? What? Oh, don't uh, act like you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's just corny. He's my hobo boss. I'm... Yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> hey, I'm a very good boss, I guess. I guess you could call us boss. We're more like, we're more like people that just like, you know, like work together, I guess. Like, I don't consider like a boss or like... You are, yo. Finish this till 8. What? I... In the morning. Yo, I've never said no that. No money. If you don't finish today. That was a joke. Calm thyself. Anyways, guys, yeah, that's basically it. That's how we met and that's basically how we became close and that's why we still even work together to this day. And to answer all of your questions, yes, that's why Boyoung sometimes films in my studio, okay? Because we work together, okay? And we've been working together for over a year since we both lived in Busan before we both even moved here to Seoul and started, you know, like really working. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more terrible videos like this. And if you want to get a Calm Thyself t-shirt, click the link down below or a Calm Thyself coffee mug, hoodie, cell phone case, whatever your little heart desires. Oh my god. What? I don't know. I'm just letting them know. We have like cool stuff. I want a mug. You have one right there. But I want not calm thyself mug. You want to calm thyself mug? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then first you gotta calm thyself. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Out.